Welcome back to the Benning Report. It's week two for a group of airborne students at Fort Benning, bringing these sky soldiers a few hundred feet closer to the real thing. Our Ron Andrus takes us to Eubanks Field, where the students learn how to go from ground to sky. So Ron, what's going on this week? Well, the students are now in Tower Week, where they'll continue learning the basics of becoming a paratrooper, and as you can see behind me, we'll drop from the 250-foot tower. I'm going to take all directions from this gentleman right here. He's going to tell you to let up, and he's going to tell you which set of rays you need to pull so that you can land safely. Uh, arm one. We call it Tower Week uh, because everybody focuses on that 250-foot tower. Welcome to Week 2 at Jump School, where these airborne students will get the opportunity to drop from those famous Fort Benning attractions, the 250-foot towers. But first, they'll continue learning the basics. We've got the suspended harness, which helps the jumper with the uh, lateral drift, pulling the, a good two riser slip opposite direction and drift, um, you know, getting that good prepared land attitude, so reinforcing that. And then we'll move over to the swing landing trainer, which is also a good apparatus for uh, correcting any uh, deficiencies prior to uh, a parachute landing fall. Um, most injuries occur during the parachute landing fall, and it's uh, keeping those feet and knees together. The most significant part about the second week is learning how to land properly. Everybody knows the swing landing trainer and, uh, and how evil that can seem, but it really builds in muscle memory of how to land properly with your feet and knees together, pulling the right slip. Uh, and it's the difference between having a good landing and a great landing of one operation. And having a great landing also requires learning how to deal with and fix any issues that may arise while jumping. Teach them how to avoid collisions and entanglements. Teach them if I'm jumping towards wires, how to get out the wires, trees, how to get out the trees, water, and they also get taught how to activate the reserve using the full draw method. After improving their skills using the suspended harness and the swing landing trainers, the students progress to the mock doors where they'll learn actions in the aircraft and mass exit techniques. Teaching them not to rush the door, not to stall in the door, trying to get that one second interval between you and the jumper in front of you, and it's pretty much teaching them this is pretty close to what it's gonna be like jumping out of the actual aircraft. 1,000, 2,000. Once the basics are instilled, the students will return to the 34-foot towers and put it all into action. They'll continue to jump out of the 34-foot towers. This time they'll do it with uh, a mass exit technique. In other words, instead of one at a time, they'll jump four at a time, one, two, three, four, with about a one-second interval between the jumpers. If they can flow fluently here in a 34-foot mock tower using a mass exit technique, they're going to do it in a jump week. After they've successfully completed all required mass exits, it's now time for the students to get their first first real taste of what it's like to be airborne. When we have good weather and we have the right amount of time and everything else, we like to try to get every student off the 250 foot tower. We've got Sergeant Airborne that's going to activate the system to actually free you from the tower and uh, you'll go ahead and descent and there will be um, you know, a coach there coaching you down to pull that two riser slip opposite direction of drift and uh, prepare for the parachute landing fall. It's a great exercise and it just helps to enforce uh, moving into jump week, everything that we've taught uh, throughout tower week. If a student gets a chance to jump from that 250 foot tower, that is a great thing for them. And like I said, it's, it is a big confidence booster. Right up, right up. Right to left, right to left, pull your right center riser. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it deep in your chest and hold it, feet knees together, that down center riser. Rings coming down, rings coming down, rings coming down. The students who successfully made it through Tower Week will now move on to Phase 3, or Jump Week, where they'll put all their training to the test and go airborne over Fort Benning. Does that mean these soldiers will finally get to jump from close to five times the distance they do this week? Yeah. They'll conduct five jumps next week, two Hollywood style and three combat jumps, one of those being at night if they're lucky. And those who complete all their required jumps will have earned their wings and become the newest proud members of the airborne fraternity.